Welcome to Talk the Talk. Today's guests are magician Trent James, Riverside Brookfield art teacher Blair Jensen, and student Andres Rizzo. We will be right back with the show after these messages. Hello and welcome back to Talk the Talk. With us right now is magician Trent James. Hello. Thank Hi. you for having me. How are you? I'm great. Great. How are you? I'm doing good. How so, er, how did you get started in magic? Um, I got started in magic uh, when I was five years old after seeing a magician perform at uh, my preschool. I really liked it. I liked the feel of it and the attention and the reaction. Um, and from there, it just kind of like sprouted into what I do today. Um, I think everyone as a kid is kind of interested in magic but most people don't stick with it like I did. Um, but I've been able to develop uh, magic so it's cool, I guess you would say. Um, how long have you been practicing magic when you, since, since you first saw it? I started, when I was five was when I first got interested, but I really didn't get like into like doing shows and performing until I probably was like eight, nine years old. That's when I started like actually doing shows, getting out there. And then when I was probably about 12 is when I was like, I, I really like doing this. I want to do it more and maybe for the rest of my life. Around that time, did you start um, doing more like advanced tricks? Yeah, I mean, the tricks of, I mean, over the years, my repertoire of tricks have changed. Um, but uh, yes, yes, I do some more advanced, <laughs> more impressive tricks, I guess you'd say now. Yeah, is that what makes you different? Like what makes you different? Um, I think... We're so used to, like, as, when we think of magician, we think of, like, old guy, full tuxedo, top mm -hmm. hat, maybe, like, a weird mustache. <laughs> and I think magic can be so much more than that, more than that children's birthday party type thing. Magic can be fun and cool for everyone. Um, and I want to create an experience that's not, like, you know, just, look, I fooled you, that's it. I want to create, you know, just a full, like, ride. Mm -hmm. What was, like, a defining moment where you were like, this is what I want to do as a career? Um, there's been a few, I feel. There's been a few moments where I'm like, this is, this is cool. Uh, Tell us all of them. All right. Um, one of the things I thought was really cool, growing up, I always went to, there's, there's these magic conventions, magic, like, festivals. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know, it's, it's cool. Um, these festivals that we have, and one is called the Abbott's Magic Get Together, and I grew up going to that as a kid. I've been going for years, um, and two years ago, they asked me to perform in it, and which is like huge, like for me. Um, I was uh, 15 at the time, and they asked me to perform in it, and I was like blown away. And there's four nights of shows, and I thought they would give me, you know, one of like, you know, Wednesday night or something. And they gave me the main show and opening, oh, wow. it, and that was just like so cool. I was like blown away. So getting to be on that, like, be on that show with those other like professionals, mm -hmm. it was just super cool. And then also, like, Freshman year at the talent show here at RB, I got to be in it. And I remember I was, I'm doing this trick uh, with an egg. And at the end of the, the trick, I crack the egg, which if you saw the trick, you'd understand, which is like impressive. Um, and the crowd just like, you heard like a gasp. And it was this cool moment. And I still remember it very like crisply. That was here at RB? It was here at RB, yeah, freshman year. Awesome. And I'm a senior now. Uh, who were like some models, some... Uh... Uh, role models influences, is what I meant. Yeah. yeah, influences. Um, yeah. I think I have a lot of influences and not a lot of them. They might not be magicians. Um, mm -hmm. I love people like Johnny Carson, uh, Rowan Atkinson, if you know who he is. He plays Mr. Bean. Um, <laughs> Steve Martin. Those are like comedians. And so my show has a lot of comedy in it. Uh, so it's a comedy and magic show, which is a little bit different. Um, those are some of my biggest influences that I'd say. Yeah, who's your uh, age group? Who do you, uh, your demographic? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the show, it really can be for everyone, but then I can, you know, I have other types of shows and stuff, and I think my real, like, target audience would be, um, you know, teens, college market, that's sort of where I'm headed, and more towards adults. Um, and that's just because uh, I like interacting with those people, and that's, I've created my show, like, at talent shows, performing for my peers, so the show plays very well for that age. And I heard you have a very um, elaborate wardrobe. Can you yes. describe that to us? Uh, for my <laughs> show, yeah, no, I mean, I think I want to look cool doing my shows, so I have lots of like different like weird colored jackets and stuff, but 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not much for the tuxedo and tails, but. Describe the one of my favorite ones because we were talking about it earlier was the, the blue one. The blue one. It's yeah. like an electric blue, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like some of the colors we have going here and back. Yeah. Some like, maybe brighter though. I don't know. But yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's trying to like, this, this hipster trickster thing. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this, by the way, also. Hipster trickster. It's a hipster trickster. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just different. But you guys want to see something because I've been talking about this. Yeah, so I yeah. might as well, well yeah. do something. Sure, um, trick. <laughs> we have some money here. This is just normal money. It's nothing special. I just had it here for convenience. Um, it's a one and a 20. Uh, I'm going to fold up the one like so, and I will do the same with the 20. Um, and Nick, if you could hold out your hand, I'm going to place this in your hand here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close your fingers around the money like that. Okay. I'm going to flip your hand over and squeeze the money. Squeeze the money. Now, you've heard of like pickpocketers. They steal your money. Yeah, yeah. And pickpocketers are good these days. They're very good. Uh, just loosen up just a bit so I can take one of the bills out. Loosen up just a bit so I can take. Squeeze, squeeze the 20. I have the one. Squeeze the 20. I have the one. Now, pickpocketers are so good. They might know you have a one and a 20. If they get the one, they're going to be like, I want the 20, more money. <laughs> so here's what they do. Watch this. Watch. I just take the one and I cover for a moment. You can actually see changes to the 20. <laughs> what? It's not the cool part. But if I have the 20, that means you must have the... Go ahead, open what? your hand. Okay, wait. No. No. <laughs> like that. Like <laughs> That's how? modern day pickpocketing, folks. That's what it is. I remember. So that's what I do. Oh, God. That's <laughs> magic. You just got magished. I remember when, uh, <laughs> when we were younger, uh, Trent and I and uh, another friend of ours, we went mm -hmm. to the pool and we were coming back. And um, I found some like money on the ground, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, this is so cool!" And he's like, "You want to see a, tr a trick?" And I'm like, um, "Yeah, sure." And so <laughs> you take, yes, you took the the beach towel, you you um you put it in your hand, and then you put it over there, and then you took it, you opened it, and there was no money. And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" I was and like, then I ran. I left. Yeah, I was like, "Can I have <laughs> it back?" And you're like, "No." And then you left. <laughs> Wow. That was great. I wow, that was that. great. What a memory. What a memory. Well, I didn't rob you this time, so that was good. Yeah. This has been great. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. And we'll be right back thank after these, thank you. after this break. Welcome back to Talk the Talk. With us right now is RB teacher, Mr. Jensen. How are you? Well, I'm doing well, thank you. So. We were going to ask questions about outside of RB. Uh, what hobbies do you do? Hobbies? Well, <clears throat> I love to, I thought about this, and uh, I like to do things related to art, but I, I don't know if I have like a sp specific hobby that I like to do, because of course I love photography, mm -hmm. but I like to see new art and the way new art is created, and I guess I like some of the technical aspects about it, so I just like to go to art shows or art happenings that um, introduce me to new techniques and new things I've never seen. So that's one thing I like as far as a hobby. Other, my main thing in my life is probably running besides that. Oh, cool. Yeah. So when you go and uh, you go to these shows, what kind of shows do you like? Like abstract, mixed media, um, photography, <coughs> what kind of shows do you I like? I guess it's, it's a variety of a lot of things. And a, a lot of times like in certain areas in Chicago, they have like walks where you can visit very many, a uh, few galleries at once and you just get a wide variety of things. So that's really great. Like down in Pilsen, they have that going on. Um, and the River West or West, in Chicago, like Chicago and uh, Superior, they have many galleries right there. I like to just roam around and see different things. So I don't, usually I don't specifically go, oh, I want to go see paintings today or mm -hmm. abstract art or this. I just like to see what's happening and, and go to them. Um, what kind of, did you play uh, sports or do you do anything like that? Like uh, when I was young, like when I was in high school, like 10 years ago, yeah. or, okay. Any time in your life. <laughs> so yeah, um, I was, I played football and baseball in high school. Cool. Yeah, and I never was very good at basketball. I liked to play on the playground, but that was about it. Got rejected many times. What positions did you play in uh, baseball and football? In baseball, I played shortstop, and in football, I played the quarterback. I actually oh. went from center to quarterback. Oh, wow. really? Oh, yeah. Very impressive. 
<laughs> it's been strong to play center, jeez. <laughs> well, that's on. I was I was huge. I was the same size I am now in ninth grade, mm -hmm. and then stopped growing. So I think everyone caught up to me. So. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. so you were like pretty much taller than everybody yeah, else. Yeah, from until sixth they... grade on. I was <laughs> yeah. I've always been short. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what kind of restaurants do you like to go to? Um, let's see. I don't know. I guess small restaurants, really. Um, ones that are, once again kind of uh, one-of-a-kind restaurants. Like um, type of food? Uh, food would be, mm -hmm. I'm not a big meat eater. I will eat it if it's there or if someone's serving it. I'm fine mm -hmm. with it, but I don't seek it out. Okay. So it, Italian maybe, Mexican, um, Chinese. Ever been to Francesca Bellavia? Which one, where is that? It's in LaGrange. LaGrange, is it one of the Mia Francesca chains? Um, I think so, yeah. Okay. That one's really good. All they right. have really good clothes. Yeah, they're all good. All those Francesca restaurants are very good. Yeah, I've, heard, good I've been to those a few times. They're really good. Yeah. Like, I love them, mm -hmm. um, my, all my visits to the to those restaurants. Yeah. What, would you, what would you say was probably the your favorite or, like, the best restaurant you've gone to? Oh, that's a good one. You know, I can I tell you this, that I didn't, when I was younger, I left, when I left home when I was 22, like, four years ago, um... I would not touch Mexican food, nothing really? spicy, anything. And then finally, when I moved a few years away from home, I decided, well, I need to start exploring. Mm -hmm. So once I started exploring, I realized, wow, that's so amazing, all these different tastes. Mm -hmm. So the best experience I ever had was when a friend of mine was a chef, and he made an Italian dinner uh, pasta at my house when I was, I don't know, a year ago, like when I was 27 or 8. And, uh, oh, am I being funny? No, no, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. I know. Um, so anyway, he made a pasta dinner with just what we had in the cabinets, and it was like the best. I couldn't believe it came out of the, our kitchen. So, and he said, ah, the secret, salt and butter. Really? Salt so, and butter. Yeah. That, that, that must have been a really cool experience, having your friend who's a chef cook yeah. in your own house. Yeah, in your really own house. Cool. Yeah. That's yeah. it. And he, he owns three restaurants now, and they're all diverse. They're in Madison. So... I don't know if I can explain what the best restaurant that I've ever been to. That's really cool. I, the best experience maybe was this one is in uh, Rome, Italy. The only time I was Ooh. in Rome, a friend of ours knew someone that owned a restaurant, so we went to that, and everyone spoke Italian except me and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just an amazing experience. So Yeah, that has been really cool. Yeah, it was fun. So I'm going to go back to the art a little. Okay. Um, is there some music you listen to that kind of like correlates with your art that you listen to while you're doing art or just yeah. in any day activities? Yeah, probably, I hate to say this, but when I was younger, maybe it affected me more than it does now. Mm -hmm. um, now I just, I don't listen to, when I create or when I do stuff, it's really hard to, for me to listen to anything with words in it so much. Mm -hmm. But I don't like classical music. I like something with, I don't want to sound like American Bandstand, which you probably don't know what it is, but <laughs> I don't want it. Like, it's not about the groove or the beat or the rhythm, mm -hmm. but it kind of is, you know. I don't sit there and sway and tap my toes, but I just like some, like, faster or more active music going on Something in the background. Something to keep you going? Yeah. 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 What about uh, movies? Like, what do you like to watch? Yeah. I, I like, uh, <clears throat> you know, I enjoy the, the thrillers, but they're not what I would say that, oh, I can't wait to see that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I like a lot of movies. Like, but give some examples. That's a good question. That's a good, uh, all right. So I, I just saw, the most recent movie I just saw was that Interstellar. Oh, my God, that was amazing. <gasps> oh, that I movie that. was so good. Oh I God. love that movie. And then the director did, you know, Inception, too, and I thought he was just really smart in that movie. So I like a real nice, smart movie, well done. Makes you Photographically, think. yeah. 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 So visually and the story has to all come together. I really like that. Well, we're glad for having you on the show today. Um, thank you for watching Talk to Talk, and we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back to Talk to Talk. Right now, we have something a bit different right now uh, going on. We have a student here at RV, Andreas Rizzo. Did I, say, did I pronounce that correctly? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. So we were wondering, uh, what hobbies do you do? Well, I really enjoy playing sports, and just as any high schooler, video games. <laughs> what kind of sports do you play? Well, I play soccer a lot, and then I'm debating whether I should join water polo or volleyball. What uh, position do you play in? Uh, what was the sport again? Soccer. Soccer, yeah. Mid I play midfield. Oh, cool. But what? I'm not in the team. Do you oh. play, like, uh, when? who do you play with? Like 
uh, with like my brother, and then I used to play in a team in my old uh, school. Uh, when you did play in a team, when you were playing in the midfield, did you play on the wing or like were you sent more central? I was on the right side. Are uh, you on right wing? Yeah. Oh, okay. right. So what does that do? I'm, I'm guessing that you that you're more familiar yeah, with soccer yeah. than me. So uh, what does all that mean? Because I, I don't know anything about soccer. Well, so. I guess I control the right side. I'm like the person that gets the ball from defense to the offense, and then I help score. Yes, basically you move the ball. Uh, you move the ball up and down the right wing. Yeah. You uh, let's say like if if he's got a midfielder who's like trapped by defenders, he can pass it out pass it out to him on the wing, and mm -hmm. then he just runs down the wing, and he can set up for the cross, or he yeah. can try and be Ronaldo and try and take <laughs> on the defense and score a sick goal. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So you say so you also play video games. What kind of video games do you like to play that are well, popular in th this age I, I played GTA V. It's oh, really yeah, fun. That's, but that's the best game ever. What do you do on GTA V? <laughs> well, I kind of just fool around, you know. Well, I mean, like, what is the game like? Yeah, describe it. Well, it's <coughs> kind of like a free roam game. You can pretty much do whatever you want. What does that mean? Like, is there shooting? Is yeah, it like Minecraft where you create things? shooting. Shooting. So yeah. it's like a gun game? Sticky yeah. bomb people's cars? Yeah. That's <laughs> always the best thing. Is it similar to Call of Duty where no. you are... Um, it's not first person. It's more like third person. Third yeah. person? Yeah. Oh, okay. So is there more and of it, a storyline? No, there's... Well, yeah. <coughs> All right. There's... Yeah. What's the storyline like? Well, it's really long. And you play as three characters and each have their own personal lives and they meet together. And then, well, they are like the protagonists, but they're bad. They're oh. like drug dealers. So you're playing as the bad guy. Yeah, but in the story, they're like good. Sort I guess, of. yeah. Because so they're their protagonists, but kind of they're like, doing bad things. Kind of like uh, Batman, like a vigilante, I think that's the right word. Yeah, yeah. but Batman, Batman is different because you do nice things for everyone. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, what do you like to listen to, like music? Music, I don't know. I just listen to anything, I guess. Like, what's um, your favorite right now? My favorite right now would probably be Warriors by um, Imagine Man. Dragons. I love that song. That oh, is like yeah. an anthem. Really it, it, I think it recently <laughs> came out. A yeah, weeks yeah, ago. yeah. Came out in like I think November or October. Yeah, yeah. That's a really good song. Mm -hmm. uh, what about movies? Have you seen any movies recently? Well, I kind of, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to go see. Uh, Mockingjay Part One. Oh I'm, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I want to go see that. Yeah. I saw the Hunger Games and Catching Fire. I did so. too. I did yeah, too. Yeah, I love those movies. I've yeah. seen it. It's really good. It's very <laughs> accurate to the it? book. Yes, definitely recommend it. Yeah, no, and, I, oh sorry. Uh, I hate when um, well, what's it called? When movies are like completely different from the book. Like, yeah. why produce the movie that's mm -hmm. not similar? <laughs> like. Like Percy Jackson, the Olympians. Have you seen that? Yeah. I, s I haven't read the book, though, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, it's totally... Yeah, I've book, heard, I've heard. Trust me, it's totally different. It got me mad. <laughs> yeah, I was I was extremely upset at the theater. I was like, like... The Hunger Games is kind of like that, but not that much. Like The first one was a little off, yeah, the, but the rest are very... Yeah, very yeah I think they... Very they accurate. Mm -hmm. So you think the Mockingjay is the best one so far? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Oh, like okay. mind blown. Got you excited for part two already. Oh, totally. <laughs> I like, I'm listening to that soundtrack by uh, oh, Lord. Yeah, you know yeah. Flickr? That song? No. I. No, it's uh, the theme song to, the, to oh, the movie. Okay. And it's a very good and very intense. And it's like, gets you into the mood of the movie, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you should look that up. Uh, do you like anything by Lord? Because it's by Lord. You know, who, the singer who made Royals? Uh. No, I, I've never listened to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should, should start, though. Yeah, well, you yeah, should. you should start before Mockingjay. <laughs> yeah. What about uh, food and restaurants? What do you well, like? Well, um, I live in America, so <laughs> my favorite Clearly. food is <laughs> cheeseburger. <laughs> so. Oh, like favorite places? Well, I don't really like, fa I, I don't really have a favorite places. Like, I like a lot of, like, restaurants. Like. So what are some of them? Like Bill's Place by Brookfield, have you guys heard of it? Yeah. It's a really good restaurant. I go there a lot. It's really good. Mm. Um, I don't really like fast food that much. Do you have it like occasionally though? Like yeah, like sometimes. maybe like two, twice a month. Maybe, twice a month. Maybe yeah, less. That's, that's a good, good balance yeah. for it because you know fast food isn't the, you know the best. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have it, okay. Uh, if you have it occasionally, then you know it won't kill you. 
What about yeah. like home cooked meals? Like your mom makes home cooked meals. Well, my mom makes this really good fettuccine. Oh, fettuccine! Have you guys had that? Yeah, like, I had fettuccine. It's it I unfortunately good. can't have it because I'm allergic oh, to it. But everyone is like, "This stuff is so good," it and is. I'm like, it's "Thank so you good. for shoving the good tasting stuff in my face that I can't eat." <laughs> 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 so yeah. is that is that um like your favorite thing that your mom makes? Yeah, or, by uh, far. Like when you see that on the table, you're just like, "Yes, yes!" It's like. My favorite day of the week now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to have to wrap it up here. Thank you Thank so you much for, for being me. on the show. Uh, we'll, this has been Talk the Talk, and we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back. I want to thank all of the guests for coming on the show today. I'm Brandon Wadi. I'm Nicholas Perino. See you next time on Talk the Talk.